Saul from Rogue One, and Tika from Obi-Wan Kenobi. And these are pretty good. This is the front. This is the side. The back. The info. The barcodes and stuff. Well, not the barcodes, but the blah 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 boo stuff. Disney stuff. And the side. The top. You know. The front. The side. The side. The back. I mean, they call this a deluxe, but me, I wouldn't include the ball head version, double headed, so you can change it. And maybe like double hands or something cool, you know, extra pieces. But you can see all the detail he's got on him. He's got all these wiring and tubes and stuff. But yeah, the tubes are cool. You can see the see-through and stuff. But um, let me get these guys out of the box and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's a good look at them. Outside the boxes, here's their accessories. Is this kind of like musket looking gun, futuristic. You know, I call it musket because it has this big, you know like horn on the top then i guess this is it looks like a lamp i'm not sure i haven't i haven't really seen like kenobi details much which i watched the show but it's been i gotta rewatch it again and i guess a pile of junk which is pretty cool because you know it's a smaller figure which should come with like more accessories but yeah it's pretty cool oh yeah let's look at these ones comes with his cane his walking cane it looks pretty decent not too bad and he comes with this gun. This futuristic gun. But yeah, you can look at this guy. It's not too bad. Does he have a waist? Yeah. Waist kind of bends a little bit. Not really backwards, but his head's okay. Turns, twists, looks down. Because eh, of this thing, but you can see the face. Pretty dark bandage. Arms go... Single jointed, swivels and bends, kinda. Oh, there it goes. Got to loosen it up. He's got little hands. And he's got some leg articulation. He can't really go out much or up and down, but he's got a single joint, I think. Single knee. Can't really tell, but yeah. But his feet has the best articulation because you know you can see it up and down, side to side, ankle pivot, bandages be cool he also has this little pouches which is not removable it's like molded into the coat and in the back but you can see really good detail on the arms see really good detail they're getting better and better i mean i would expect the price is going up and up so they should get better let's look at this guy not too bad pretty good armor he's built pretty big I mean, it should be easy to deluxe. Comes with this breathing tube, I guess. I guess because he's an old guy or big guy, he has to breathe really hard. He's got the Terminator Robocop feet. He's got the hobo sandals right here. I don't have any of the rogue characters, but I plan on getting them. He kind of looks cockeyed right there. The way they made him look. But his head doesn't even move like at all. Like, it turns a little bit, but it doesn't look really down and up. That's how it goes. So you have double joints or single joints? Let's see. Single, but swills. Kind of goes up. That far. Swivels. Swivels right here at the hands. Kind of. New figure is always, like, rough. Let's see. Oh, he can actually kick pretty decent. Single joints, of course. Swivels right here. Does it have a... Yep. There it goes. That's good. His feet actually has a little swivel right here, too. Oh, dang. Really good ankle pivot. Rock's very good. You need that. And everything right here is like... You can remove it, I guess. Not remove it, but wiggle it. You want to be careful. You don't want to snap that. Or that. Or that one. But I've seen people could take off the cape. But I'm not going to try that. And you could take off this part too if you really wanted to. But I don't feel like doing that on camera. I might break it or something. It kind of reminds me of the, um, the Valkyrie Marvel Legends figure that has the rope. And the Thor from Ragnarok that has a little cloak. But his gun goes right here in the holster. Which holds pretty well. 
and his staff. Oh, the other guy fell down. His staff, does it split somewhere? Or no? Nope. Just got to be careful. Try to get it in his hand. There we go. Little, little rogue one in him. Little rogue one in him. That's how you say it. Don't mumble, fool. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Put him on the stand. Move this stuff out the way. Put him over here. Let's do some size comparisons. Got the Walgreens exclusive clone. Don't know name, sorry, but... Uh, I'm messing this whole video up. That, that's how tall he is next to him. We'll bring in this guy from the Bad Batch. You can see how big they are. Bring in another figure. Anakin from the Clone series. Not too bad. He's going to fall again, of course. I need to get a better camera so you can see everything. But yeah. Put Impact there. Bring this guy back up. Ugh. They both fall, of course. Get out of here. Do one more review before I end this review. I meant, ugh, one more. Ugh, I'm dropping everything. But yeah, that's how tall he is. Get him out of here. Let's bring in this guy. I don't have, this is the only clone, clone Obi-Wan I have right now. The other ones are somewhere. But yeah, that's how he is next to him. Get out of here. Oh, no. Hello there. All right, guys. I'm going to get out of here. This is my review on some of the Star Wars figures. Let's go.